Class 4 again for race number 6, 1,200 metres. The last three races then at uh, Happy Valley. A, uh, a Class 4, a Class 3, then a Class 2. Happy Good Guides leads the field here. Might well lead the race as well. Jerry Chow taking 10 pounds off his back from Barrier 2. Kind of cool, likes to roll forward as well. He's come up with Barrier 7 as he returns to action. Sell my soul. Beaten favour on his last three starts, including odds on. Last time out, a good shot comes into the race fresh. No trial. David Hall, Matthew Chadwick. Henyon Biss rolled forward last time out as well. We can behind Hercules. He'll jump from barrier three. Stock Legends behind scores of fun at Chartin last time out. And Ever Brave just one point away from a uh, class drop. Gets the inside barrier, the one time winner over the 1,000 metres here. Kind of cool. Simply flute, good shot. And hot chilli pepper are the horses that have been up at Chunk Farmark. And our speed map, Andrew, has a good tempo with Happy Good Guys and Hinion Biz up front. Ever Brave, Sell My Soul, the next two. Hot Chili Pepper racing wider and kind of cool and good shot. Stock Legend, Precious Sweetie, One Happy Star, Simply Fluke on the rail. And after me, Paul, is last of all. Kind of cool, looked really good at the back end of last season. We looked good most of last season and he said one go at Happy Valley and he won it really nicely. He looks really well forward for a good run here and... He looks tough to beat for me and uh, his work's been good and suggests that as well. Sell My Soul, I thought he had every chance last time. He was odds on uh, last 1.6 favourites. So quite costly, but uh, still ran a third. You can see he's still going nicely, so no problems with him. Barrier number four, uh, four Sell My Soul. He's only had the four starts. And Hinwan Biz, look, he, he had the work to get to the lead and he was in front uh, a long way um, in the, for a long way in that last race. And he's got barrier three now. Another one that will strip fitter for that run as well. OK, all right. Well, let's uh, start off with Happy Good Guys running second here and Sell My Soul. Now, he was favourite for this, Mark, and 1.6 as well. Not beaten far, but he was still beaten. He was. He had his chance. The rail opens up for him there. Happy Good Guys had a senior rider on Derek Lung in this race. We've got Jerry Chow taking a £10 claim. Looked like he was going to win here, Sell My Soul, Paul, and then Happy Good Guys has come again and Supreme Plus beats both of them. Yeah, he had both. He had a, every chance, didn't he? And, uh, look, he still stayed on nicely enough there for third. But he was costly favourite. OK, simply fluke. Also filled the uh, the runner-up spot last time out. Um, now, he was favourite as well, Paul. Can he improve off this? Well, look, the problem being with now, he's moving out to barrier number 10. He had barrier number 2 uh, for this run. It was a good, still a nice run. He still ran on nicely enough. But I just think he's going to find a little bit trickier from the wider draw. I kept him in on a minor line. Yeah, he just couldn't run down Harmony and Home here. He's won twice from Barrier 12 last time in. They were both cracking rides from Joe Marira. So, look, he's consistent, but Antoine's going to have to produce something similar. Stock Legend makes the switch from Chartin to Happy Valley. Now, we, we pick up the, uh, the coverage uh, here, Mark. He's, he's out wide. I think he's running behind a, a good one here in scores of fun, though. Yeah, he gets back and he runs on, so he'll be hoping that the speed up front from Happy Good Guys and Hinyan Biss is right on. He starts are still questionable, Paul. He's going to win races, Stock Legend, but he's still learning what it takes to get out of the gate, which isn't helping him put himself into a right spot. Yeah, I've made him the each-way play here, and I thought I was uh, home and hose there with about 200 to go, but, uh, look, he just faded out a little bit. He's had a couple of starts at uh, Happy Valley. He has been placed, so coming back to Happy Valley is going to be a positive, I think, for him. What about kind of cool, Paul? He looked pretty exciting um, last season for Frankie Lord. Zach Purton will be on board, as he was last season as well, when he finished off with a win back in July. Yeah, I think he can win this. He's one from one in the course. Look, this was a nice, quiet trial from him. Only over the 1,800 metres, uh, 800 metres up in Chungfa. He went really well fresh last season. He'd been beaten by horses, Fabulous 8, scores of fun, and Yichong Pegasus, who was in great form as well. So... Uh, look, I, I think uh, he comes out of strong form races and he looks tough to beat for me. Just that one trial. He hasn't raced since July, so it hasn't been completely long since we last saw him, and he is definitely, that's why he's 2.5 favourite, the one to beat. All right. So have the punters got it right, do you think, Paul? I think they have. I, th I think he can win this race, and uh, he's clearly on top for me, kind of cool. Hit one biz. Look, he's going to be a big price again, but I think he can run a nice race, uh, this horse, especially from barrier three. He'll be in front for a long period of it. The 11 stock legend uh, coming back to Happy Valley is good for him and he did just sort of blow out just at the final end of that last start but he's going well at the moment and then for fourth there uh, simply fluke just put him in front of Sell My Soul uh, both um, we win our favourites last time simply fluke can just run on a little bit better I thought so 2, 8, 11 and 3. With the two also kind of cool. I think his class will get him home here, even with the five pounds more than his last start victory. Happy good guys to run second. From barrier two, he's going to get himself into a handy spot. He can even let Hinwan Biz go if he wants a Jerry Chow. Simply fluke wide draw to overcome. He's done it before and does have a good turn of foot. 
and Stockledge and likewise will be back in the field and running on with Simply Fluke. 2-1, 3 and 11. Kind of cool for me as well. I thought it was a super win back into last season. I think he can pick up where he left off this.